Thus saith the Lord, I know the thoughts that I think towards you, thoughts of peace and not of affliction. You shall call upon me, and I will hearken unto you, and will bring again your captivity from every nation. Lord, thou art become gracious unto thy land, thou hast turned away the captivity of Jacob. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Thus saith the Lord, I know the thoughts that I think towards you, thoughts of peace, and not of affliction. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Welcome to our Mass this morning on this 23rd Sunday after Trinity. I offer Mass this morning for the soul of Trevor Heal, a member of the Torbay Ordinariate Group, which is of course where Jean and I started out our Catholic life. Almighty God, unto whom all hearts be open, all desires known, and from whom no secrets are hid, cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of thy Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love thee and worthily magnify thy holy name, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Hear what our Lord Jesus Christ saith. Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, with all thy soul, and with all thy strength. This is the first and great commandment. The second is like unto it, namely this, Thou shalt love thy neighbour as thyself. On these two commandments hang all the law and the prophets. Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Glory be to God on high, and on earth peace, goodwill towards men. We praise thee, we bless thee, we worship thee, we glorify thee. We give thanks to thee for thy great glory. O Lord God, heavenly King, God the Father Almighty. O Lord, the only begotten Son, Jesus Christ. O Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, that takest away the sins of the world, have mercy upon us. Now that takest away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. Thou that sittest at the right hand of God the Father, have mercy upon us. For thou only art holy, thou only art the Lord, thou only, O Christ, with the Holy Ghost, art the Most High in the glory of God the Father. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. O God, our refuge and strength, who art the author of all godliness, be ready, we beseech thee, to hear the devout prayers of thy church, and grant that those things which we ask faithfully we may obtain effectually. Through Jesus Christ, thy Son, our Lord, who liveth and reigneth with thee in the unity of the Holy Spirit, ever one God, world without end. Amen. A reading from the book of Proverbs. Who can find a good wife? She is far more precious than jewels. The heart of her husband trusts in her, and he will have no lack of gain. She does him good and not harm all the days of her life. She seeks wool and flax and works with willing hands. She puts her hands to the distaff and her hands hold the spindle. She opens her hand to the poor and reaches out her hands to the needy. Charm is deceitful and beauty is vain. The woman who fears the Lord is to be praised. Give her of the fruit of her hands and let her works praise her in the gates. The word of the Lord.
life will be like a fruitful vine within your house. Your children will be like olive shoots around your table. Blessed are all who fear the Lord. Behold, that shall the man be blessed. A reading from the first letter of St Paul to the Thessalonians. As to times and seasons, brethren, you have no need to have anything written to you. For you yourselves know well that the day of the Lord will come like a thief in the night. When people say, there is peace and security, then sudden destruction will come upon them. As labour pains come upon a woman with a child, and there will be no escape. But you are not in darkness, brethren, for that day to surprise you like a thief. For you are all sons of light and sons of the day. We are not of the night or of darkness. So then let us not sleep as others do, but let us keep awake and be sober. The word of the Lord. Gospel according to Matthew. At that time Jesus told his disciples this parable. A man going on a journey called his servants and entrusted to them his property. To one he gave five talents, to another two, to another one, to each according to his ability. Then he went away. He who had received the five talents went at once and traded with them, and he made five talents more. So also he that who had the two talents made two talents more. But he who had received the one talent went and dug in the ground and hid the master's money. Now after a long time the master of those servants came and settled accounts with them. And he who had received the five talents came forward, bringing five talents more, saying, Master, you delivered to me five talents. Here I have made five talents more. His master said to him, Well done, thou good and faithful servant. You have been faithful over a little. I will set you over much. Enter into the joy of your master. And he also who had the two talents came forward, saying, Master, you delivered me two talents. Here I have made two talents more. His master said to him, well done, good and faithful servant. You have been faithful over a little. I will set you over much. Enter into the joy of your master. He who had received the one talent came forward, saying, Master, I knew you to be a hard man, reaping where you did not sow, and gathering where you did not winnow. So I was afraid, and I went and hid your talent in the ground. Here, you have what is yours. But his master answered him, you wicked and slothful servant. You knew that I reap where I have not sowed and gather where I have not winnowed. Then you ought to have invested my money with the bankers, and at my coming I should have received what was my own with interest. So take the talent from him 
and give it to him who has the ten talents. To everyone who has will more be given, and you have in abundance. But from him who has not, even what he has will be taken away. And cast the worthless servant into the outer darkness, where there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. The Gospel of the Lord. Today is one of those days where we have a choice of Gospel readings, a long version or a short version. This happens a number of times during the year and too often the shorter version misses out the difficult passages, the challenging teachings of Jesus. The short version today only talks about the servant who was given the five talents and who made five talents more and the congratulations he received completely misses out the other two servants and their response to their Lord and their destiny. It misses out our Lord's condemnation of the lazy servant certainly misses out the talk of casting into the outer darkness. We have to remember that these lectionaries were um, brought together in the 1960s when there had been a rightful perhaps response against the overemphasis on judgment, on hell that had been used in at least some parts of the church in the preceding decades. Used often indeed by governments to coerce, to control people and to, I'm afraid, by certain elements in the church. There's a great reaction against this. And it's important because that idea of a God who seeks to restrict us, to control us, to threaten us, is completely false. It gives a completely perverted vision of our God, a God who loves and longs for us to be with him. Of course, it is not simply a modern heresy. That was exactly the way that Satan enticed our first parents to rebel. He made them think that God was restricting them, controlling what they could and could not do. And they chose disobedience and so lost their communion with God, lost their place in paradise. There are two equally dangerous ways to think about Satan, to think about hell. The first is to overemphasize it, to concentrate on it, to set your sight always on hell and the devil rather than God. But equally dangerous is to ignore Satan, to ignore the dangers of not being focused upon God. The lazy servant in our parable was so scared of his master that he was paralysed with fear. And that was how he lost his master's love. How he lost his place in the household. But if we ignore the consequences of our actions, do not pay the proper attention to God, 
then we can squander the talents that God has given us. And when our master returns, not only will we not have made anything from the talents, but we will have frittered them away. God gives us all the gifts we need to grow in his love. All the gifts we need to become more like him day by day. We mustn't let our false ideas of God prevent us from realising these gifts. But nor must we squander them nor must we let them waste away. We have a loving master who gives generously to us. If we respond to that love, put those talents he gives us to work, then he will greet us with those marvellous words. Well done, thou good and faithful servant. In the name of the Father, the Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and of all things visible and invisible, and in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, begotten of his Father before all worlds, God of God, light of light, very God of very God, begotten, not made, being of one substance with the Father, by whom all things were made, who for us men and for our salvation came down from heaven, and was incarnate by the Holy Ghost of the Virgin Mary, and was made man, and was crucified also for us under Pontius Pilate. He suffered and was buried, and the third day he rose again according to the Scriptures, and ascended into heaven, and sits on the right hand of the Father. And he shall come again with glory to judge both the quick and the dead, whose kingdom shall have no end. And I believe in the Holy Ghost, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceedeth from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son together is worshipped and glorified, who spake by the prophets. And I believe one holy, Catholic and apostolic church. I acknowledge one baptism for the remission of sins, and I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Ye that do truly and earnestly repent you of your sins, and are in love and charity with your neighbour, and intend to lead a new life, following the commandments of God and walking from henceforth in his holy ways. Draw near with faith and make your humble confession to Almighty God, meekly kneeling upon your knees. Almighty God, Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, maker of all things, judge of all men, we acknowledge and bewail our manifold sins and wickedness, which we from time to time most grievously have committed by thought, word, and deed against thy divine majesty, provoking most justly thy wrath and indignation against us. We do earnestly repent and are heartily sorry for these our misdoings. The remembrance of them is grievous unto us, the burden of them is intolerable. Have mercy upon us. Have mercy upon us, most merciful Father. For thy Son, our Lord Jesus Christ's sake, forgive us all that is past, and grant that we may ever, hereafter, serve and please thee in newness of life. The honour and glory of thy name, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. May Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, who, of his great mercy, hath promised forgiveness of sins to all those who with hearty repentance and true faith turn unto him, have mercy on us. Pardon and deliver us from all our sins. Confirm and strengthen us in all goodness, and bring us to everlasting life, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Hear what comfortable words our Saviour Christ said to all who truly turn to him. Come unto me, all ye that travail and are heavy laden, and I will refresh you. God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son to the end that all that believe in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Hear also what St Paul saith. This is a true saying and worthy of all men to be believed. 
that Christ Jesus came into the world to save sinners. Hear also what St John said, If any man sin, we have an advocate with the Father, Jesus Christ the righteous, and he is the propitiation for our sins. Blessed art thou, O Lord, God of all creation, for of thy bounty have received this bread which we offer unto thee, fruit of the earth and the work of human hands, which shall become for us the bread of life. Blessed art thou, O Lord, God of all creation, for of thy bounty have we received this wine which we offer unto thee, fruit of the vine, and work of human hands, when shall shall become for us our spiritual drink. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Father Almighty. Grant, we beseech thee, merciful Lord, that by this sacrifice ordained for our salvation, we may evermore be delivered from the bonds of our sins and defended against all adversities through Jesus Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks unto the Lord our God. It's very meet, right, and our bounden duty that we should at all times and in all places give thanks unto thee, O Lord, Holy Father, almighty, everlasting God, creator of the light and source of life, who has made us in thine image and called us to new life in Jesus Christ our Lord. Therefore, with angels and archangels, with all the company of heaven, we laud and magnify thy glorious name, evermore praising thee and saying, Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of thy glory. Glory be to thee, O Lord Most High. Blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Therefore, most merciful Father, we humbly pray thee through Jesus Christ, thy Son, our Lord. And we ask thou accept and bless these gifts, these offerings, these holy and unblemished sacrifices. We offer them unto thee first, thy holy Catholic Church, that thou vouchsafe to keep her in peace, to guard, unite, and govern her throughout the whole world. Together with thy servant Francis, our Pope, Keith, our Ordinary, and all the faithful guardians of the Catholic and Apostolic faith. Remember, O Lord, thy servants and handmaids. And all here around us stand, whose faith is known unto thee in their steadfastness manifest. On whose behalf we offer unto thee, or who themselves offer unto thee, this sacrifice of praise, for themselves and for all who are theirs, for the redemption of their souls, for the hope of their health and well-being, and offer their prayers unto thee, the eternal God, the living and the true. United in one communion, we venerate the memory first of the glorious ever-Virgin Mary, Mother of our God and Lord Jesus Christ, of blessed Joseph, her spouse, as also thy blessed apostles and martyrs, Peter and Paul, Andrew, James, John, Thomas, James, Philip, Bartholomew, Matthew, Simon and Thaddeus, Linus, Cletus, Clement, Sisters, Cornelius, Cyprian, Lawrence, Chrysogonus, John and Paul, Cosmos and Damien, and of all thy saints. Grant by their merits and prayers we may in all things be defended with the help of thy protection. We beseech thee then, O Lord, gracious to accept this oblation from us thy servants and from thy whole family. Order thou our days in thy peace, and bid us to be delivered from eternal damnation and to be numbered in the fold of thine elect. 
Vouch say for God, beseeching all things to make this oblation blessed, approved, and accepted a perfect and worthy offering, that it may become for us the body and blood of thy dear beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, who the day before he suffered took bread into his holy and venerable hands. With eyes lift up to heaven unto thee, God, his almighty Father, giving thanks to thee, he blessed, broke, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. Likewise, after supper, taking also this goodly chalice into his holy and venerable hands, Again, giving thanks to thee, he blessed and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which we poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, O Saviour of the world, who by thy cross and precious blood hast redeemed us. Save us and help us, we humbly beseech thee, O Lord. Wherefore, O Lord, we, thy servants and thy holy people also, remembering the blessed passion of the same Christ, thy Son, our Lord, as also his resurrection from the dead and his glorious ascension into heaven, do offer unto thine excellent majesty of thine own gifts and bounty the pure victim, the holy victim, the immaculate victim, the holy bread of eternal life, and the chalice of everlasting salvation. Vouchsafe to look upon them with a merciful and pleasant countenance, and accept them even as thou didst vouchsafe to accept the gifts of thy servant Abel the righteous, and the sacrifice of our patriarch Abraham, and the holy sacrifice, the immaculate victim which thy high priest Melchizedek offered unto thee. We humbly beseech the Almighty God, command these often to be brought by the hands of thy holy angel to thine altar on high, in sight of thy divine majesty that all we who is partaking of the altar shall receive the most sacred body and blood of thy Son, may be fulfilled with all heavenly benediction and grace. Remember also, Lord, thy servants and handmaids who have gone before us sealed with the seal of faith, and who sleep the sleep of peace. To them, O Lord, and to all that rest in Christ, we beseech you to grant the abode of refreshing, of light, and of peace. To us sinners also, thy servants, who hope in the multitude of thy mercies, vouchsafe to grant some part and fellowship with thy holy apostles and martyrs, with John, Stephen, Matthias, Barnabas, Ignatius, Alexander, Marcellinus, Peter, Felicitas, Perpetua, Agatha, Lucy, Agnes, Cecilia, Anastasia, with all thy saints, within whose fellowship we beseech thee admit us, not weighing our merit, but granting us forgiveness. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, to whom, O Lord, thou dost ever create all these good things, dost sanctify, quicken, bless and bestow them upon us. By whom and with whom and in whom, to thee, O Father Almighty, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, be all honour and glory throughout all ages, world without end. As our Saviour Christ hath commanded and taught us, we are bold to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. And give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, O Lord, we beseech thee from all evils, past, present, and to come. And at the intercession of the blessed and glorious ever-Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with thy blessed apostles, Peter and Paul, and with Andrew and all the saints, favour we grant peace in our days, that by the help of thine availing mercy we may ever both be free from sin and safe from all distress. O Lord Jesus Christ, assist thine apostles, peace I leave with you, my peace I give unto you. Regard not our sins, but the faith of you at thy church, and grant her peace and unity according to thy will who livest and reignest with the Father and the Holy Spirit, ever one God, world without end. Amen.
The peace of the Lord be with you always. Christ, our Passover, is sacrificed for us. O Lamb of God, that takest away the sins of the world, have mercy upon us. O Lamb of God, that takest away the sins of the world, have mercy upon us. O Lamb of God, that takest away the sins of the world, grant us thy peace. We do not presume to come to this thy table, O merciful Lord, trusting in our own righteousness, but in thy manifold and great mercies. We are not worthy so much as to gather up the crumbs under thy table, but thou art the same Lord whose property is always to have mercy. Grant us therefore, gracious Lord, so to eat the flesh of thy dear Son, Jesus Christ, and to drink his blood, that our sinful bodies may be made clean by his body, and our souls washed through his most precious blood, and we may evermore dwell in him, and he in us. Amen. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him that taketh away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called for the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy thou should enter under my roof. But speak the word only, and my soul shall be healed. Almighty and ever-living God, we most heartily thank thee for that thou dost feed us in these holy mysteries, with the spiritual food of the most precious body and blood of thy Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ, and dost assure us thereby of thy favour and goodness towards us, and that we are very members incorporate in the mystical body of thy Son, the blessed company of all faithful people, and are also heirs through hope of thy everlasting kingdom by the merits of the most precious death and passion of thy dear Son. And we humbly beseech thee, O Heavenly Father, so to assist us with thy grace, that we may continue in that holy fellowship, and do all such good works as thou hast prepared for us to walk in, through Jesus Christ our Lord, to whom with thee and the Holy Spirit be all honour and glory, world without end. Amen. Let us pray. O Lord, who has made us partakers of the gifts of these holy mysteries, we humbly beseech thee that those things which thou hast commanded us to do in remembrance of thee may be profitable to the succour of all our infirmities, who livest and reignest, world without end. Amen. The Lord be with you. The peace of God which passes all understanding keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of his Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. 
and the blessing of God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit come amongst you and remain with you always. Go forth in peace.